to find the area surface area of this solid, we know that the front and the back are the same, and it's a trapezium. So area of a trapezium is a half of h a plus b. And this time, because we want to work out front and the back all together, so which is time two. So a is the length of this, which is 6.5 centimeters, and b is 12 here. And the perpendicular height, which is h, is this length here, which is equal to this length, which is 8 centimeters. So all I need to do now is I just write out the rule, which is area trapeziums, which is both of them, of course, a half of h, a plus b, and curl bracket time 2, which give me front and the back. All I need to do now is I just substitute this value in. So a half of h, open bracket, 6.5 plus 12, all together, close bracket, of course, time 2. Put that in exactly the same on calculator. So which give me 148 square centimeters. To work out the area of the, um, the left side, this side here. So the length of the width of this is 11 and the length of this is 30. So it's actually a rectangle, of course. If you draw this out, it give me a rectangle like this. And um, this is 10, 11, sorry, centimeters. And the length is 30 centimeters. So the area of this is length time width, which is 30 times 11, which give me 330 square centimeters. Now, to work out the area of the right side of this, so which is 30 and 10. So this is a rectangle, so 30 times 10. So 30 times 10, which give me 300 square centimeters. Now we can work on the area of the top panel here, which is 30 times 6.5. So which is 30 times 6.5 is the top panel here. So 30 times 6.5, which is 195 square centimeters. And then the what's left is the base of this solid which is the bottom, if you like, which is 12 times 30. So 12 times 30, it gives me 360 square centimeters. Now, to find out the surface area, of course, we add this area together, will give me the surface area of this solid here. So I just add them up. So S surface area is 148 plus 330 plus 300 plus 195 plus 360, which give me 1,333 square centimeters. This solid have the front and the back is the same and the both left and right is the same. So we just work out the area of front first and then we double, will give me front and the back. The front is a trapezium. So we know that trapezium, this is A, which is 7, and B is 13, so 7 centimeters, and the perpendicular height, of course, is 4 centimeters, which give me from here, from this. So now, area is a half of H, A plus B, is the trapezium, and I want to work out the back as well, so I just time 2. So give me front and a back. Now, all I need to do is just substitute this value in. So half of h, which is 4, and then a plus b is just 7 plus 13, or 13 plus 7, doesn't matter, and just time 2. So we give me 80 square centimeters. To work out the, the area of the size, which is this panel here, and the left-hand side as well, and the right-hand side is the same. So we just work out one of these with time 2. Now, the width, the length of this is 15, the width of this is 5 centimeters because this is this symbol here, I mean they're both at the same, so which is 5. So the area of left and right is just 15 times 5 and I times 2. So which give me 150 square centimeters. So now I can work out the um, area of the top panel, which is area of the top, which is 15 and this is five, 7 
So 15 times 7 will give me this panel here. So which is 15 times 7 and give me 105 square centimeters. What's left now is the base of this solid, which is 13 times 15. So 13 times 15 will give me the area of the base, which is 195 square centimeters. So now I just add this area together. So give me the surface area. So this one, so which is 80 plus 150 plus 105 plus 95, which give me 530 cent square centimeters. To find the surface area of this um, this solid here, so we know that the front and the back is the same. So the front panel is look like this. So we have the front panel. So is is um is L shape. So we know that this is fourteen point five centimeters, and this side here, 6 plus 6, of course, give me the length of this back here. So which is 12 centimeters. And I just label this. This is 6 centimeters. And this is 6 centimeters. Of course, this is 5, 5 here. So it's 5. So 5 centimeters, 5 centimeters. To find the area of this shape, all I need to do I find the area of the larger area minus this this um, rectangle here. So the area of this is simply is 12 times 14.5 minus 6 times 5. Will give me the area of the front. So this is what I get. So 12.5, I mean 12 times 14.5 minus 6 times 5 which give me 144 square centimeters that is the area of the front panel but I want to work out the back as well so therefore the area of the front and the back is equal to 144 times 2 which is 288 square centimeters of this um, solid which is this panel here you can see this panel and this panel now, if you add these two panels together, it's the same area of the base of the solid, which is area of the base of the solid, which is 14.5 times 20. And times 2 will give me the top as well. So 14.5 times 20 times 2, which give me 580 square centimeters. Now, I can work out the area of the front, I mean the left, and the right size as well. So if you think about it, this panel here and at this panel here is the same area of the back here, which is this side here and that side, which is the rectangle going down as well, of course. So which is 20 times 12 because six plus six is 12 here. So which is 12 times 20. So 12 times 20 and a times two because of both sides of the panel so which is 480 square centimeters so now we just add this area so the front and the back top and the, the bottom and left and right of the uh, panel of the solid if you like so which is surface area is equal to 288 plus 580 plus 480 which give me 1348 square centimeters thank you so much for watching